Good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's action meeting. Um, we are going to start off tonight with a Pledge of Allegiance, please. Do we have the video or the video? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, video. We haven't had one in a while. Today, 1,093 students have earned and will receive their high school diplomas from the North Penn School District. No matter where in the world this life might take you, always, always, always remember that North Penn is your home. Because as the saying goes, once a night, always a night. And we love our home. We can't wait for others to transfer their spark. Rather, we must initiate and ignite our own flame. We can remember that small actions and little goals, coupled with compassion, perseverance, and a bit of luck, may be enough to send us well on our way. So whatever big task it is that you might have coming, whether you fail at that task once, twice or 5,126 times. Just remember that if you give your very best effort, no matter what, you will one day achieve greatness. I learned that this time wasn't wasted at all. In fact, it was exactly what I needed to just take a breath and live in the moment. To not think about what is to come or what has already happened, but to just be present and enjoy it. Now by the powers vested in me by Pennsylvania Department of Education, I hereby declare that all members of the class of 2019 from this point forward shall be known as graduates in North Penn High School. Congratulations. Welcome to our regularly scheduled action meeting. This meeting is being videotaped for community cable channels. Individuals attending this meeting and intending to speak to the board should be aware that they are being videotaped. In order to meet the requirements of Pennsylvania's Sunshine Law, it is necessary to record the names of all citizens who speak to the board during the meeting. To assure compliance with this requirement, it is essential that those planning to address the board come to the microphone, state their name and address, and sign the Audience of Citizens logbook. Members of the audience are asked to limit their questions and comments. To allow time for all those who wish to speak to the board, the board president may ask the individual to yield the microphone to the next speaker. And now, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So that, that was a really nice video. It was a great night, graduation night. Um, okay, so we are going to move on then 
to uh, another fun thing, and that is uh, rec recognitions and proclamations. Tonight, we will be recognizing the North Penn School District Odyssey of the Mind programs and NPTV. So I think first up is North Penn Odyssey of the Mind with Joanne Wernes as the um, program director. Good evening, members of the school board, cabinet members, and Dr. Dietrich. I am proud to be here tonight as district coordinator of North Penn's Odyssey of the Mind program to acknowledge our students' achievements in Odyssey of the Mind competitions. To prepare for competitions, students work together in teams of five to seven to solve a detailed problem. Odyssey of the Mind problem solutions are presented in an eight-minute skit which is performance-based and might include technical elements, balsa wood structures, team creative vehicles, and dramatic flair. Creativity of costuming and props is encouraged. Humor is essential. Each team performs their skit at a regional tournament and based upon scores can advance to state and world finals. This season, 137 students from 10 North Penn Elementary Schools, two middle schools, and North Penn High School participated in Odyssey of the Mind. These teams formed 21 teams. These students formed 21 teams. Each of our OM teams was coached by one or two adults and supported by a couple hundred parent supporters that went above and beyond to contribute to the team's success. Tonight, you will meet students from 10 teams that placed at the OM regional competition and competed at the state tournament. Yes, 10 of our 22 teams advanced to states. This is no small feat given that the Southeast PA region is one of the most competitive in the state. Over the years, North Penn has enjoyed increasing success, earning a number of medals and distinguished honors. A team from the North Penn program has advanced to world finals every year since 2010. This year, for the first time in North Penn Odyssey of the Mind history, three teams earned the privilege to compete at world finals, which was held at Michigan State University in May. These three teams, whose students attend Penbrook, Pendale, and North Penn High School, advanced to world finals and competed against teams from the United States and other countries around the world, including Poland, Mexico, Singapore, Japan, China, South Korea, Qatar, India, Russia, Germany, and Switzerland. I will close my remarks with a quote from the founder of Odyssey the Mind. According to Dr. Sam Miklas, Odyssey the Mind teaches young people to embrace changes. It instills in youngsters an excitement about learning and an excitement about themselves and their ability to achieve what others might say is impossible. His belief is that for education to be most effective, it must be challenging and that, is that it is important for students to have fun in the process of meeting those challenges. I believe our students would attest to the fact that OM is fun. I know our teachers and parents note the educational benefits, but the most reliable measure of our program's success is its growth over the years. Every year, more and more families seek out the program knowing participation requires a tremendous commitment of dedication and time. Many of our students begin the program in elementary school and remain on a team through middle and high school. Dedication like this is an education in itself. On behalf of the students and their families, I thank you for your continued support of North Penn Odyssey of the Mind, a program that offers a challenging, fun learning opportunity to the students of our school district. Thank you. Ready? Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, introduce you to the students. Um, the first group of students is from the Pendale structure team. The team is uh, coached by Kathy Heath and Dan Boyce. The first student is Sarah Heath. 
Sarah, you can come, come on through, we'll Sarah. Come there you go. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. Thanks. Congratulations. Robert Heath. Mark Heath. Daniela Boyce is on the team, but she's not here tonight. Drea Nicholson. Congratulations, Mark. The next team is the Pembroke Performance Team, coached by Lisa Upright. The first student is Jillian Upright. Jake Bradley. Swarup Joglakar. Maddie Hanrahan. Gemma Shavur. Tarun Ingar. The next team is the North Wales Performance Team, coached by Tracy Clark and Juan Whalen. Millie Clark. Ani Whalen. Ela Hinky. Michelle Fazio. Ash Rush. Olivia Castle. And Emma Cantonese. The next team is the North Wales technical team, coached by Christine and Simon Hinky, Orly Hinky, Sloan Peasley, Ava Lara Villar, Silas Jisabel, Declan Lawrence, Daphne, Daphne McCauley, the next team is the Gwinnett Square Classics team, coached by Prashant Jaswal and Antoinette Makari Klingsberg. The, fir the first team member is Jaya Jaswal, Gia Jaswal, June Biswas, Aaron Blure, who is not here tonight, uh, Yash Yashvi Patel, Nawal Klingsberg, Natalie Hamill. The next team is the Inglewood Structure Team, coached by Karen Navard. Ryan Navard could not attend tonight. We have Evie Dalton, Eric Voss. The next team is the uh, North Penn High School Performance Team, coached by my, myself and Lisa Upright. Uh, the first student is Lisa up, or Lise Upright. <laughs> Uh, Natalie Upright is not here tonight, nor is Vianne Chang, but they're on the team. Sally Myers, Aaron Zhu could not attend tonight, Sammy Riley. Uh, the next team is the Pembroke Vehicle Team. Um, this is one of our three teams that went to World Finals. Uh, the first uh, student is Sawyer Steinbauer, he, uh, he's unable to be here tonight. Danielle Schmidt Lang, Daniel Schmidt Lang, oh, I'm brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Sashi Sinoff, Alex Gopal, Om Patel, Sanvi Patel, and Anna DeSantis, who couldn't be here tonight. The next team is the North Penn High School technical team coached by Mike Lockery and Laura Boquist. Um, this team also uh, participated in World Finals. The first team member is Abby Boquist, Lorna Lockery, Megan Lockery, Kyle Schaffseller, uh, could not attend tonight, Leah Whalen, Brianne Scott was unable to attend tonight. Ready? Sashrita Haripriya. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the uh, last team is the North Penn High School Classics team, another world finalist, uh, coached by Patty Eglin and Patty Har. Um, first member is Kyle Har. Laura Eglin. Greg Sanborn is on the team but could not attend tonight. Jaden Weed and Jane Peters. And thank you once again. Mrs. Werner.
Um, I'd just like to make an announcement that if you are interested in watching this again on TV, it will be rebroadcast on Cam Comcast Channel 28 and Verizon Fios Channel 29 on the following dates. Friday, June 21st at 7.30 p.m., Monday, June 24th at 12.30 and 7.30 p.m., Tuesday, June 25th at 12.30 and 7.30 p.m., and Wednesday, June 26th at 12.30 p.m. Thank you for coming out tonight. Was it, was it something I said? <laughs> <laughs> Not you, Mr. Gilbert. That wasn't me. So our second round of uh, proclamations tonight are for the NPTV with Mr. Rob Gilmer. Bob Gilmer sorry. And Mary Fakish. And Mary Fakish. We're both here Making tonight uh, to talk about the National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Mid-Atlantic Chapter, National Student Television Awards, as Melina's holding and showcasing right now. Uh, this year, we had uh, six nominations for this uh, competition. It's very competitive. It's Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware. I think it's a slice of West Virginia now. There's part of that market that's in there now uh, that all the high schools across those areas uh, submit for awards. Uh, we had six nominations total, and we came home with four awards. One was for Best pa Package in Sports uh, by Paul Callender. Uh, the next was for Best Sports Program, which was uh, made possible by Eric Jessberger and Prasham Jobin Putra. Uh, the third was Best Talent for Melina Clarko and Eric Jessberger, you may have recognized from North Penn right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what they, I think that's what we had you in for. That's what we entered was North Penn right now show. And then finally, uh, the one we're always, the well, one I should say, I'm always, uh, eager to see if we get his best newscast. It is, it is the top award um, for the, the Emmy Award Ceremony for high schools. And this year we captured best newscast for our mornings program, uh, which um, they name after one of their own. And it's very honored for the organization that gives, it, gives out the award. And it also comes with a $1,000 prize. So we're very excited to capture that. We don't always capture that every year. It's very, very competitive. And uh, we were very happy to see that, that happen this year. A Couple quick stats, I like to do my stats. So our number one show this year was Coatesville uh, when we were at Penridge. Uh, we just checked it before we got started tonight, and Dom was surprised that we were up that high. It was up to 300,000 views. Yeah, I don't know if we're getting taped for next year or what, or what's going on with that game. But overall this year, we had 1.5 million uh, minutes watched of the programming this year, over, over 400,000 views on our YouTube channel. Um, and we had 100, and, I'm sorry, 200, over 200 long form events. So school board meetings, concerts, uh, our, our sporting events, all of those types of things. So over 200 of those events, which is night times and weekends, and keep in mind, we have 180 days of school. So these guys are working multiple times a day with different events as we go through it. So we've had a lot of programming uh, this school year. So I think that's all my stats for this year. What I'd like to do is introduce the seniors that are here. This is not the No Hold North Penn Television crew. We don't do it with the three of us and Mrs. Fakish and myself. So uh, we only bring our seniors here and we are missing a few seniors tonight. But we are going to introduce, I'm going to read the names of everyone, but we'll start with Melina Calarco. Uh, do you want to carry that around? you want to hand that off? Yeah, Here we go. Melina, as you know, is the anchor in North Penn right now. She's also on mornings. You're going to wrap around. And uh, she's going to American University next year. Paul Callender is not with us tonight. He's uh, one of our career study students. Uh, he um, is... Uh, 
the one that won for best sports package. He's also obviously very integral in our mornings and, and North Penn right now programs and everything else. He's going to Messiah College next year. Sharon Chong is going to Drexel next year. She's also a senior with us, very integral in all of our, our uh, mornings program and newscast. Next is Prinjazi Das. She is going to Penn State next year. Now, Prinjazi is also on the Emmy Award winning uh, mornings program. She's an anchor. She's seen her here. Uh, she's been with us since uh, sophomore year. So we're going to be sorry to see Prinjazi go. Next on our senior crew is Allison Lasianka. She's not able to be here tonight. Uh, she's also one of our anchors for our mornings program. Uh, she'll be attending Penn State next year. Patrick O'Neill was uh, doing a work study with us this year. Uh, he also could not be here tonight. He is working tonight, and he'll be attending Bloomsburg University. Next up is a person you've seen a lot over the last couple of years here is Dominic Rodriguez. Dom, come around. Dom was a career study student this year as well. Um, and as you, anybody that's had a meeting here knows how much he knows about technology, uh, video, computers. Uh, I am personally going to miss Dom tremendously next year. So next meeting, we'll see if all this stuff works properly. <laughs> if not, I'll have, I'll have Dom on speed dial. Dom's going to George Mason next year. And the last two names, Rachel Rosenblatt. Uh, she uh, has been with us the last couple of years. She's going to Temple University. And Sam Santangelo, who is also another one of our career study students you'd see here a lot. He's actually at the high school tonight because they're doing their preview of uh, Midsummer's Night's Dream uh, because they're headed to Nationals on Saturday. So he's running audio tonight, and he is headed to Clarion next year. And that's our North Bend Television seniors. Thank you very much. You guys do a great job. And we really will miss Dom. I saw you in the graduation line. I'm like, oh no, who's going to be behind the camera at our board meeting? So thank you very much. Yes. OK. So um, we have to, did we text Julian? Okay. All right. Um, we have a school board member who will be participating remotely. Julian Ramich is calling in right now. So as soon as she calls in, we will um, proceed with the agenda. Is she on? Can you tell? Julian, are you there? <laughs> we need to move? Yes, yes, yes. Here. Where is Dom? Did he leave already? Somebody grab him. Yeah. We'll just we'll move on for now. Okay. So uh, then next up would be the audience of citizens. Is there anyone that would care to make public comment at this time? Seeing none, we will move on then to approval of the minutes um, from the May 16th, 2019 action meeting and from the June 10th, 2019 work session. So Do I have a motion? Second. Motion by Mr. Fusco and seconded by Mrs. G. Any comments or questions? Madam President, just to let you know that I just received notice that Mrs. Ramich is on the line. Thank you. All right. All right. So uh, are there any comments or questions about the minutes? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. All right. Moving on then to committee reports. The first one is personnel. Uh, the personnel committee of the board met in executive session on June 10th, 2019 from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. to discuss prospective employees, 
salary rates for summer workers, and support staff substitutes, and the filling of administrative vacancies. End of report. Finance, Mr. Diazio. Thank you. This is an update from the June 10th meeting of the Finance Committee. The monthly financial reports were reviewed and additional discussion was held uh, regarding the following items. The 2019-2020 Community Education Enterprise Fund budget. Uh, the objective for this program is to cover all costs and provide a service to the community. A $50,000 transfer to the general fund is included in this budget. Uh, 2019 real estate tax assessment appeals. Uh, the list of potential tax assessment appeals uh, was reviewed. There's an August 1st deadline in order uh, for the district to file those appeals. 42 parcels were identified as potentially being under assessed by $600,000 or more and will be further examined. Per board policy, the potential list must be approved at the June action meeting. Uh, the committee also discussed the 2019 homestead exemption. Um, which is uh, $212.22 for each eligible property. The 2019 real estate tax installment plan was discussed. Mr. Scrappy reviewed the parameters of the plan. One third of the tax uh, that's due is due by August 1st, one third by September 6th, and one third due by October 31st. All properties in the school district are eligible for this installment plan. Uh, the new student was new student representative to the committee was introduced and the finance committee will welcome uh, Jojo Dewadi uh, to the team uh, at the next meeting. Mr. Scracky reviewed the uh, PASBO uh, PASA budget survey results that were recently released. The three main stressors on school district budgets continue to be charter school tuition, pension obligations and special education expenses. And finally, Mr. Scracky reviewed Senate Bill 700 dealing with uh, proposed plan con legislation. The items that are uh, on tonight's agenda for approval are the 2019-2020 extended care uh, program enterprise fund budget, the 2019 district initiated real estate tax assessment appeal list, the 2019 homestead exemption, the 2019 real estate tax installment plan, the 2019 business office operational items, and finally the May budget transfers. The next finance committee meeting uh, is, is tentatively scheduled for Tuesday, July 9th, 2019 at 6 p.m. Uh, we, we may likely uh, cancel that meeting and then uh, we'll be scheduling a meeting for August. So stay tuned on the next meeting date. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Diazio. Moving on um, to safe schools. Terry, would you like to read that? Thanks. The safe schools committee met on May 28th. Uh, Mr. Durr shared that the evening safe schools collaborative sessions held in April were a success. Parent attendance was light. However, those that came were appreciative of the opportunity to engage in a dialogue about school safety. Mr. Durr also shared a public version of his annual report, which was delivered to the board in May. The report included a summary of work completed during the prior 11 months, as well as school safety statistics. Mr. Dean Miller, Montgomery County School Safety Specialist, shared information with the committee and fielded questions about the use of metal detectors and armed personnel in schools. Mr. Miller also discussed safety items to be considered for Crawford Stadium. Finally, Mr. Durr spoke about safety and security planning for the North Penn High School graduation ceremony. This is the district's most high profile event and involves a detailed planning process with the assistance from local law enforcement. And as you can see from the video, it really went nice, very organized. I was impressed. I've been to a few. <laughs> the Safe Schools Committee meeting scheduled for June 25th has been canceled. The next meeting is tentatively scheduled for Tuesday, July 23rd at 6 p.m. here at the ESC. End of report. Thank you, Mrs. Perkowski. Does anyone have any questions for Mrs. Perkowski? Okay, seeing none then, we will move on to education, community, and policy. <clears throat> so the ECP has uh, two meetings to update. The first was the May 28th, 2019 meeting. Among the informational items discussed, uh, there was the online assessment feedback. Dr. Todd Bauer and Mr. Mike Boddy presented comparative feedback from students and teachers regarding their test taking experiences with Linkit this year. The test results show no significant statistical difference in all subject areas and performance. In fact, most students performed better 
Online testing provides a variety of analytics uh, that can be used to inform instruction. In 2019-2020, there are plans to expand online testing to the elementary level. Um, also, professional development was discussed. Uh, Ms. Jacqueline J. Marco reviewed the highlights for professional learning plans for 2019-2020. Input from various stakeholders was used to inform the development and design of the plan. The goal is to create a climate of culture and learning, provide differentiation for various special professional professionals, embed cultural proficiency in all offerings, and conduct specific sessions concerning cultural proficiency. Night School, a new online component of professional learning, will be introduced in 2019-2020. Uh, and then special education services at North Penn High School was also discussed. Ms. Ruth Desiderio, Interim Director of Special Education, and Ms. Megan Shop, Special Education Teacher and Department Chair at the High School, reviewed the special education program at the high school. Each IEP student's program is determined by their post-secondary anticipated plans, which include attendance at two or four-year colleges, trade schools, competitive or supported employment, military service, and community-based day programming. The program has continued to evolve and incorporates co-taught classes with special education teachers who are also certified in specific content area, a supportive environment, and academic opportunities for students. The diversity of this program to address the needs and abilities of students with IEPs is ahead of the curve. The next meeting, uh, actually we'll do the update from the June 17th. Uh, the next meeting was the June 17th meeting and that meeting was moved up in order to address um, policies specifically that are on the agenda tonight. Uh, so there's an adoption of policies. Dr. Todd Bauer presented four policies to the committee. Uh, 301, creating a position. 304, employment of district staff. 304.1, nepotism. And 309, assignment and transfer. These policies were developed based on recommendations from PSBA and the solicitor for the district, as well as input from district administrators. The committee moved these to a first reading and adoption by the school board. Uh, we also discussed the repeal of policies. The following policies will need to be repealed subsequent to the adoption of policies 301, creating a position, 304, employment of district staff, 304.1, nepotism, and 309, assignment and transfer. So those policies that will need to be repealed are policy 4111, selection of appointment of staff, policy 4111.1, recruitment and selection, nepotism, policy 4111.2, and posting of open positions and transfers. So we're glad there will be less numbers involved in reading of policies <laughs> moving forward. Uh, there's also a student travel item that was discussed. One student travel item was reviewed by the committee and recommended for action by the board. The next meeting is scheduled for July 23rd, 2019 at 6.30 at the ESC. Now, is that right? We're doing that because we were some confusion about that. <laughs> at our last meeting, we're scheduled for 6.30. And um, Ms. Perkowski, Ms. G, and Mr. McBain, we do intend to have that meeting, unlike many of the other summer ones. So if you can make yourself available, please do. I won't be available. You won't. OK. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks in advance. Um, end of report. Any questions? OK. Thank you, Mr. Fusco. Moving on then to facilities and operations. The Facilities and Operations Committee met on May 29th, 20, 2019. <laughs> Mr. Kennedy presented a proposal for geotechnical services for the Knapp Elementary School project. This item is on tonight's agenda. Mr. Kennedy and Dr. Bauer reviewed a rental fee waiver request from DelVal University. DelVal University is developing a program to offer graduate level pro courses for North Penn staff in our schools. This item is on tonight's agenda as well. Mr. Kennedy gave an update on the Crawford Stadium project, which included design development meetings, town Manson zoning hearing board meetings, and continued progress on the project documents. Mr. Kennedy gave an update on the NAP project, which included design development meetings, planning commission meetings, food service meetings, and the application to the Lansdale zoning hearing board. The committee reviewed the status of the construction management services. This request for proposals has been issued with responses due on June 20th, which is today. Um, so Mr. Kennedy shared the facility study, which was prepared for, by the Schrader Group. He also gave an update on upcoming service contract bids. The next facility and operations committee meeting is scheduled for Monday, June 24th at 6 p.m. at the ESC. Oh, no, actually, it's been canceled. So didn't read that far ahead. So it's been canceled. Um, all right, is there any comments or questions? Seeing none, we will move then on to the North Monco Technical Career Center. I have two reports to give tonight. Uh, the first one will be from the JOC meeting on May 20th, 2019. 
Um, starting out with the, the announcement that Mr. Ken Keith of Souderton was unanimously appointed to continue his tenure as treasurer uh, until May 2020. Um, then we, fo we followed that up with a ratification of the treasurer's report from April 2019. Uh, we covered quite a few personnel motions, including one which um, announced that Dr. Kurt Dietrich of North Penn will be serving as the superintendent of record for the 2019 to 2020 school year. So we're very much looking forward to that. Um, we also approved student travel, uh, so textbook purchases. We ratified the MCIU contract for tech support services. We approved the agenda or the agreement for nursing services with personal health care. We approved the sublease agreement with Lansdale Warehouse Company. Student lunch prices are increasing from $3.15 to $3.25 with the start of the 2019-2020 school year. Authorized depositories were made as presented. Budget transfers were approved as presented. The following, uh, a group of student traf or staff travel requests were approved and donations were accepted and will be acknowledged. Uh, more detail about all of this can be found on board docs. The next meeting to talk about uh, was the meeting from this past Monday. Uh, that meeting, there were quite a few travel requests and personnel items to discuss, but uh, I think some of the big ones that I wanna make sure that the board and the public are aware of tonight have to do with the acceptance of the resignation of Justin Turner in the IT department, uh, the approval of employment of Stephen Monastra, who will be serving as supervisor of instruction and principal at North Montco. Um, and the, the we approved some student handbook revisions, um, some textbook purchases. We approved a resolution related to the school police officer. This resolution can be found in board docs, but just to give everyone an overview, it did allow for the resource officer, at least school police officer at North Monto to carry a concealed or a, a firearm. Um, I will say that all three members of the North Penn um, school board that represents over there uh, did vote against this resolution. It did, however, pass. Um, and the next JOC meeting will be Monday, August 19th at 7 o'clock p.m. End report. Thank you, Ms. Ott. Does anyone have any comments or questions for Ms. Ott? Seeing none, we will go on to the Montgomery County Intermediate Unit and Mr. Fusco, I think. Yes, Ms. Read. Ramich asked me to read. Um, okay, the board of the MCIU met on May 22nd to honor MCIU retirees, review initial program budgets, and receive legislative staffing and program updates from members of the MCIU leadership team. Uh, the MCIU board also received an update on the status of contract bids for the renovation of the building on Main Street and approved a resolution to award construction contracts so that work can uh, begin this summer. End of report. Thank you. Uh, the next um, report is the North Penn Educational Foundation, Ms. Ott. The foundation's June meeting was moved from earlier in the month to June 24th. At this time, we will be discussing an internal survey of the Board of Trustees that was administered by Match Nonprofit Consulting. Uh, we're working with the with Match to develop a roadmap for the future of the foundation. End of report. Thank you, Ms. Haas. All right. Moving then on to the solicitor's report, Mr. Summers. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, I have a, a couple of executive session announcements and then just a, an item or two. Uh, so in addition to the personnel committee report, uh, which mentioned an executive session, the personnel committee of the board also met in an additional executive session prior to this board meeting tonight uh, for the purpose of discussing matters involving administrative vacancies. Uh, the full board also met in an executive session prior to tonight's meeting uh, for the purpose of discussing matters involving administrative vacancies and the evaluation of performance of administrative employees. Uh, during that time, the board also received information on but did not deliberate two additional confidential matters. Um, one follow-up to the um, ECP report that Mr. Fusco provided. I just want to emphasize that uh, on the agenda tonight for the first read of policies as well as the notice of intent to repeal policies is really something you're going to see um, pretty much every meeting from now for the next six to 12 months as the district goes through the process of uh, reviewing every single policy that is currently um, in effect. Uh, reviewing those policies, updating them, and revising the numbering system to be consistent with recommendations from the Pennsylvania School Boards Association. So this is really the start of, a, of a, what will be a long process um, 
So if there are any questions about that, certainly we're, I and, and other, you know, everyone on ECP is, is happy to answer them. Uh, and then the last item I'll note is uh, part of the report is to provide updates on recent uh, laws that have been enacted. I don't have anything on that front to report, but as hopefully the state budget passes, around the same time we often see a number of changes to the public school code, new laws go into effect uh, that apply to school districts. So at the next meeting I may have a number of those to share with everyone. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Mr. Summers. Does anyone have any questions? I just want to thank Mr. Summers for his work and some of those policies haven't been looked at for well over a decade, especially some of the ones tonight. So well overdue and thank you. Thank you. All right, then moving on to the superintendent's report, Dr. Dietrich. Thank you. I recommend approval of alternative placements as per those listed and copies are on file in the Office of Special Education. So moved. Second. Motion by Mrs. Perkowski and seconded by Mr. Fusco. Are there any comments or questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Recommend approval of settlement agreements as per those listed and copies are on file in the Office of Special Education. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Fusco and seconded by Mrs. Perkowski. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Recommend approval of expulsion for the students numbered as listed. Names are on file in the Office of the Superintendent. The students, parents, guardians have waived their rights to an expulsion hearing. So moved. Second. Motion by Mrs. Perkowski and seconded by Mr. Diazio. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Recommend first reading of board policies 301, 304, 304.1, and 309. So moved. Second. I'm sorry, do I have a second? Motion by Mr. Fusco, seconded by Mrs. Perkowski. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We give notice of the intent to repeal the policies as listed. So moved. so moved. Motion by Mr. Fusco and seconded by Mrs. Perkowski. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Recommend approval of the gifts to the district as listed. So, so moved. moved. Motion by Mrs. G, seconded by Mrs. Perkowski. Any comments or questions? <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Hot. All right. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Recommend approval to advertise for bid for the 2019-20 purchase of musical instruments, transportation GPS tracking system, and bus tracking mobile app. Okay. Motion by Ms. Hot, seconded by Mr. McBain. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any Aye. <laughs> I think there's a delay. Uh, no all, uh, okay, so all in favor, right? Um, yeah. and, and any disapprove or the motion carries? Okay. Recommend right. approval of the final budget resolution in the amount of $273,977,289 for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2019, per the attached resolution and the PDE 2028 form budget document. Do I have a motion? So moved. Do I have a second? Second. second. Motioned by Mr. Fusco, seconded by Mr. McBain. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No. no. Okay, Mr. Scrocky, would you like to do a roll call? Yes, please. Roll call vote. Uh, Mr. McBain? Aye. Mrs. Romich? Aye. Mrs. Perkowski? Nay. Ms. Ott? Mrs. G? Aye. Mr. Fusco? Aye. Mr. Diazio? No. And Mrs. Stoll? Aye. Motion carries 5 3. Thank you. Recommend approval of the contracts as listed. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Diazio and seconded by Mr. Fusco. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Recommend approval of the filing of district initiated real estate tax assessment appeals by August 1st, 2019. The deadline as attached in the, the list of parcels. So Second. Motion by Mr. McBain and seconded by Mrs. Perkowski. Any comments or questions? Seeing none. All in favor? Aye. 
Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Recommended I, I, can I just uh, can I ask that the oh, board sorry. secretary just mark an abstention for me for that vote? Thank you. Sorry. We recommend approval of the alert agreement and the resolution as per the attached. So moved. Second. Motioned by Mr. Fusco and seconded by Mr. Diazio. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Recommend approval of an education and technology pool council legal services consultation agreement with Sweet Stevens Cats Williams LLP in the amount of $25,000 for the period of July 1st, 2019 through June 30th, 2020, as per the attached. So moved. moved. Motion by Mrs. Perkowski and seconded by Mr. McBain. Uh, we had this last year, correct? <laughs> Or Mr. Diaz. Are there any comments or questions? I'm sorry, was it? Or Mr. Diaz. Mr. Diaz, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the glasses, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see. Would you call my so, no. <laughs> um, all right, so are there any other questions? Comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Recommend the award of a contract to D. Palantina Contractors Hoffman and Sons Concrete for concrete repairs based on unit prices. Recommend the award of a contract to working for IPM services in the amount of $9,450. Recommend the award of a contract to Hollister Electric for electronic technician services at $78 per hour. Do I have a motion? So moved. Do I have second. a second? Second. Motion by Mr. Fusco and seconded by Mr. Diazio. Any comments or questions? Question. Um, Scott, I guess it's yours. Um, the. Um, <coughs> Orkin, are they using all natural or are we? It's mostly traps, glue boards, things like that, not mm -hmm. chemicals. That's okay. what the integrated pest management stands for. Okay. Not no use of chemicals. Only okay. the last last resort. Okay. Thank you. Is this is it scattered all throughout the district? These are projects all over the place? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Are there any more comments or questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any Aye. others? Motion carries. Recommend the awarding of bids for the 2019-20 purchase of Chromebooks, laptops, and desktops as per the attached bid tabulations. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Fusco and seconded by Mrs. Perkowski. Any comments or questions? Just a question regarding the Chromebooks. Are they, are they replacing old ones? Are they, because it's about a million dollars worth of Chromebooks. Just wondering, are they? These are not replacements. These are new. So it's a grand total of 3000 This will be our third straight year purchase of 3000 Okay. So our price this year is actually lower than what it was two years ago. Okay. But I don't have the specifics in terms of what grades these are going to, but I know these are uh, new units. They're not really replacing anything per se. Okay. So we can get, just a, if we have any other questions, Chris can answer them for us later. Are there any other comments or questions? Okay, then uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Recommend approval of the personnel items as per the attached. So moved. Second. second. Motion by Mrs. Chi and seconded by Mr. Fusco. Any comments or questions? I just want to comment as we come to another end of the year here. I just want to thank Dr. McHugh and her team. It's been, uh, in the four years that I've been up here, I think this has probably been the busiest year uh, through HR. So I just really want to thank you and the team for all you do. I know you say all the time it's a team effort, but as the leader of that department, uh, thank you for everything you do. Yes, thank you. I second that. Yeah, I'll second that knowing that we didn't make your job any easier this year. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. And I'll second that. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Um, so all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. I will note with that approval, we did approve the uh, North Penn High School Assistant Principal, Nicholas Taylor. Mr. Taylor is present in the audience. If you could just give him a little acknowledgement there. <laughs> and Nick will be available after the meeting for some more personalized introductions. So please uh, welcome Nick uh, right after the meeting. All right, in item P, we do have geotechnical services for Knapp Elementary. The recommendation is to award a contract to GTA Associates for geotechnical study at Knapp Elementary School in the amount of $12,300 as per the attached. 
So moved. Second. Second. Uh, motion by Mr. Diazio, right? Seconded by Mr. McBain and uh, Mrs. Romich. Um, any comments or questions? Except <laughs> <laughs> for she's on a delay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> she's on a delay. Yeah, so delay. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Recommend the award of a contract to Criterion for environmental consulting for the Knapp Elementary School project in the amount of $6,525 as per the attached proposal tabulation. So moved. Motion by Ms. Ott and seconded by Mr. Fusco. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Yes. Recommend approval of student travel as listed. So moved. Motion Second. by Mr. Fusco and seconded by Mr. Diazio. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Recommend approval of the administration to work with Special Olympics International with regard to the potential filming of a documentary featuring North Penn High School's role in unified sports and Special Olympics. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Fusco and seconded by Mrs. Perkowski. I, I would just like to make a comment that um, I have a really special place in my heart for the Special Olympics. I have a aunt who's five years older than me that I grew up with, and um, when I was president of the 12th Night Booster Club, the football coach and I, um, we started a program with the Variety Club in Worcester, which I think I've told you about, Jenna, where the uh, football players would go out and um, play flag football on Sunday mornings with the kids from the Variety Club. And uh, it's really, you know, sports has a way of helping kids relate to one another. And I'm just so proud that North Penn has had this program now with the uh, um, unified team. And um, I'm thrilled that Netflix is going to come in and uh, make this program and this film. And I'm really looking forward to seeing it when it's completed. So congratulations on it. And uh, I wholeheartedly support this. So I just wanted to make that comment. Thank you. So are there any other comments or questions? No. All right, then. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Recommend approval of the waiver of building rental fees for the Del Valle University as part of the graduate programs being offered to North Penn staff. So moved. Second. Any comments or questions? Just a quick question. So um, in exchange for this, our staff will get reduced rates. Is that okay? Yes, um, in addition to the reduced rates for the graduate students, they're also offering Act 45 credit for uh, level two administrators to, so that the, they don't need to miss work on those okay. days. So they're going to offer those to us for free as well. Great. Any other comments or questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any Aye. opposed? Motion carries. Recommend approval of the 2019 Homestead and Farmstead exclusion as per the attached resolution. Second. Um, motion by Mr. Fusco and seconded by Mr. Diazio. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Recommend approval of the 2019 real estate tax installment payment plan as per the attached resolution. So moved. Motion by Mrs. Perkowski and seconded by Mr. Fusco. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any, Aye. Op any opposed? Motion carries. Recommend approval of an increase of 2.3% to the salary and hourly rate schedule of non-union and confidential support staff for the 2019-20 fiscal year, effective July 1st, 2019. Motion by Ms. Ott and seconded by Mr. Fusco. Any comments or questions? Does this impact nutrition staff food services or just mm -hmm. I, I need to Yes. Mm -hmm. Any other comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Recommend approval of the 2019-20 Extended Care Program Enterpri Enterprise Fund Budget in the amount of $2,389,672 as per the attached. So Do I have a motion? So moved. Motion by Mr. Fusco. Do I have a second? Mr. Fusco. Second. second. Seconded by Mr. Diazio. Any comments or questions? Uh, all in favor? <laughs> Aye. 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 We might be, we might be done with her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got the vote. Any opposed? 
<laughs> Motion carries. <laughs> Recommend approval authorizing the chief financial officer to make investments, purchases, expenditures, and other fixed school district obligations, such as bids and bid awards of amounts owed under any contracts previously approved by the board of directors and or approved in the 2019-20 district budget, and further recommend approval to authorize the business office to make required budget transfers should they be needed as directed by its local auditors upon completing the audit for the 2018-19 fiscal year. So moved. Second. <laughs> Motion by Ms. Ott, seconded by Mr. Diazio. I don't know what that noise is, but um, any uh, comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Okay. Thank okay. you, Dr. Dietrich. Moving on then to the finance reports, Mr. Scracchi. Thank you, Madam President. A couple quick updates. Uh, first off, on the state budget, Mr. Summers alluded to that earlier. Uh, but the state budget bill right now is in the House Appropriations Committee. It's expected to move sometime next week, probably Wednesday through Friday, somewhere in that time period. Uh, June 30th is the deadline for the state budget to be adopted. But as we know, that doesn't always happen each year. The hope is that actually will happen this year. So next week is going to be a very busy week in Harrisburg. Just a quick update on our tax rebate program for the 18-19 year. We're up to 421 applicants for the year. The average rebate is $81, and we've uh, granted rebates totaling nearly $33,000 for the fiscal year. Our new program starts July 1st. That includes a 30% rebate for eligible property owners and renters. So we've been advertising that, and we've been promoting the program with our local legislators as well. And what was our total participation? Do you know offhand? 421. I meant percentage-wise, like is it? Uh, in terms of percent, we're about up to 30% of what we budgeted. 30% of what we budgeted. Of what we That'd budgeted. Be good. Yep. All right. Uh, in terms of the North Penn budget, we're basically left now with a uh, half a month left in this fiscal year, and things look pretty positive. We still anticipate we'll be able to recommend about a $1 million transfer to the board to the capital reserve fund. That recommendation will become as we proceed with our audit we'll have more finite numbers at that point. And in terms of revenues this year, we're bringing in about $2.5 million more than what was budgeted. So just a reminder, we did have a deficit budget this year. So any kind of a shortfall in expenditures and excess of revenues is certainly welcome news. In terms of the treasurer's report, this uh, report is for the month of May. And for the month of May, we collected $11.6 million in receipts. Our disbursements totaled $18 million, which left us with available funds at the end of May of $92.3 million. And that's roughly an $8 million increase over the same position last year. So we would need approval for the treasurer's report, please. Do I have a motion? Second. Motion by Mr. Diazio and seconded by Mr. Fosco. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. Okay, on to the sanction and approval of invoices. I recommend the ratification of disbursements for the month of May 2019, totaling $21,909,791.88. Do I have a motion? Second. Motion by Mr. Diazio and seconded by Mrs. Perkowski. Any comments or questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay, finally we have the approval of budget transfers. I recommend approval of the budget transfers for May 1, 2019 through May 31st, 2019 in the amount of $4,038,285.61. So moved. Second. Motion by Mr. Fusco and seconded by Mr. Diazio. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any Aye. opposed? Motion carries. And finally, just for information, we have the financial reports for the month of May, uh, many of which we reviewed at last month's Finance Committee meeting. We'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Mr. Scrocky, and thank you to you and your staff also for all the work that you've done during this budget season. So thank we you. We really appreciate it. Okay. Moving on then um, to the PSBA voting delegates. Mr. Scrocky. Okay, so this is for uh, North Penn is able to elect three voting delegates for the PSBA delegate assembly, which is to be held on October 18th, 2019. 
2019. And we have three board members that expressed interest in that. Uh, Mrs. Stoll, Mr. Casa, and Mr. McBain. And so the recommendation is for those three board members to serve and represent North Penn School District as voting delegates at that delegate assembly. So moved. Second. Motioned by Mr. Diazio and seconded by Mr. Fusco. Um, do Tim and I have to abstain? No? Okay. All right then. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Great. Thank you, Mr. Scrocky, again. All right, moving then on to our second audience of citizens. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make public comment this evening? Okay, seeing none, do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. So moved. Thank you. Thank you for coming out this evening.